Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 10 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Alright, now still not a lot happening in this game yet. But let me try all the way over there. Wait a minute, is that Rex Raptor? I'm the Dino Duelist Rex Raptor! I made the semifinals of the last tournament, so you better not think I'm a sissy Saurus. Who the hell uses the word sissy Saurus? Oh, I know who. This guy right over here. Good old dinosaur deck user. Who back in the GBA days. <laughs> I ran into a lot. Now let's see what I'm up against now. Don't expect him to have a lot of power, all things considered. Let me use a skull dice for later. Usually, Rex Raptor's monsters hover around, like, say, 1500 or 1600 attack. There's no dinosaurs. Oh, raise body heat. How much does that buff it by? 300? Enter the damage step. Okay, now I want to activate Skull Dice. One! Oh, that's not going to help me out. <sighs> like, a three or higher would have helped. But a one? Absolutely freaking not. So you pretty much forced me to use Fisher now. And I really didn't want to yet. We are pretty much have to use it. Now, what are we getting rid of? Ooh, crawling dragon number two, I think it was. Yep, 1600 attack. It's good to get rid of one of those now. Mad Sword Beast. Oh, too bad. I have Mirror Force. Ooh, okay. Getting a Wabaku will help with this combo. I thought I would have to, like, Tribute Summon for Flame Cerberus now. But it looks like I can hold off on that a bit longer. What did we just drop there? Oh, a Taihone. Or Taihone. Well, it was pretty weak anyway. But I still could have taken out that horse shit again. Now let's see what you got. Oh, no monster, eh? So sad, too bad. I think I'd be better off just summoning Neo the Magic Swordsman. I might get closer to victory then. At this rate, this duel is not gonna last long, as look, he's powerless. Still gonna last one more turn. However, we at least uh, got him on the ropes. Only 300 life points more to go. I laugh if I draw Ukazi. Oh, it's a dead draw. Well, I pretty much win now. Fantastic. That went surprisingly well. 
Level up! Oh yeah, that, that'll get me at least three packs of cards. How? How could I lose? Well, for instance, your life points hit zero, and usually people lose when they have zero life points, I'm just saying. You know, just thought I'd inform you about the rules, Mr. Semi-Finalist, in case you forgot. Okay, I didn't get any new packs unlocked. Well, that's a shame. Actually, if I'm going to unload on cards, let me get, like, all of them on this. I only got Deck Destruction Virus as a new one. Okay. That was a little bit of a bust for completing my collection. Labyrinth Ball, Dancing Fairy, Arsenal Bug, and Happy Maiden. Vile Germs. That's a little bit better. Now what are we going to get for this one? No new cards whatsoever. Another Sengenji ain't bad, though. Alright, now that I leveled up to level 6... Do we have any new puzzles? We do! Two new puzzles! Just my type? What? Alright, let's see. Sword of Deep Seated on Valkyrian the Magna Warrior. And it's powerful enough as it is. We got a Thunder Dragon, Ryukishin Powered. Apparently I got something in the graveyard. Collected power. Taylor of the Fickle. Taylor of the Fickle. DNA surgery. DNA surgery. With Axe of Despair. Sword of Dragon Soul. Limiter Removal. Sagan. And Mystic Plasma Zone. <coughs> Alright, so the only monster I have that's of strength is Dark. But I also got Light. Something tells me I'm going to need to activate Mystic Plasma Zone. That'll give us a substantial boost to Dark Monsters. I'm going to go ahead and activate Axe of Despair. And put that on Ryukishin Powered. What does Taylor of the Fickle even do? Switch one equip spell, equip to a monster to another correct target. Okay, and this can go to anyone. Designate the equip card you wish to switch over. Probably this one. And I'm gonna put that on Ryukishin power so it gets even more power. Okay, let's see. Next, I'll activate DNA Surgery. And for the looks of what I have in my hand, I should probably select Machine. There we go. Activate Limiter Removal. There, that doubles the power of a machine, by the way. Oh, looks like I have another field card, Sagan. So activate DNA Surgery again. And select Warrior. Because this can only be equipped to Warrior-type monsters, see? And Sagan will actually power it up. There, now we'll activate Sagan. Which changes the field. So, activate Sword of Dragon Soul, and I'm actually going to equip that on Thunder Dragon.
There we go. Now it's at 4,100. This is fantastic. Look at all this power we got. Alright, so let me attack with this. So, take out Valkyrian with just enough power. But this only does 7,400. And I gotta deal 8,000. Oh, you know what? I can use Taylor the Fickle. And take Sword of Dragon Soul. And put that on Ryukishin Powered. That's why there's two of those quick play spells. And that's how you do it. That one was a heavily involved puzzle, but we did it. Enter the Abyss. Alright, let's try it. Okay, looks like a blue eyes white dragon and a labyrinth wall. Contract with the Abyss. Oh, I have three of those, actually. Okay, I want to special summon... From the looks of things, I should go with Relinquish, so I can suck up one of the monsters. And I have to offer the necessary amount of stars. Let's go with Dark Magician. Why does that do it anyway? Ritual summon any dark ritual monster. Okay. So it's a pretty good substitute for almost anything. Let me activate Relinquished and get rid of that Labyrinth Wall. There, now it's mine. Alright, now let's activate Contract the Dark Abyss again. And if I'm going to have any Ritual Monster, I should go with Max Beast, because that has more power. Get rid of one of my Magicians of Black Chaos. Then I'll activate Contract of the Abyss again. So I can Ritual Summon Magician of Black Chaos. And get rid of the other Magician of Black Chaos. I'm surprised that doesn't get its own intro. What the hell? That is weird. And I'm gonna get a Dark Magician girl that's gonna get buffed. How much does it get buffed by? 3,200! Because remember, there's three Magicians of Black Chaos in the graveyard. So there you go. Okay, so let's look at this objectively. Same one monster, blah 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 blah. The attack and defense become the same. Uh, if this card is destroyed as a result of battle, the equipped monster is destroyed instead. And any battle damage you receive from the battle is also inflicted to your opponent's life points. Oh, that's why you do it. That's why you would still have Relinquish in attack mode. I just had to look that effect very carefully. Like so. Beast to take out the blue eyes. And last but not least, Dark Magician Girl can finish the job. I guess it didn't matter what order you attacked. 
but that is how you would do it. Now how you would manage to draw that many ritual cards at once, I don't know. A lot of these puzzles likely would not apply in practical duels. Oh, it's evening now. Uh, let's try this pack now. Number eight. Uh, number eight. Uh, number eight. Uh, <laughs> how did I manage to get like two of the same limb of Exodia? And all I got is the portrait secret. Well, that was the suck. Well, certainly a lot did not happen there. What the hell? Mako Tsunami? Hi, I'm Mako Tsunami, the duelist of the high and mighty seas. I see that you're also a duelist. Let's duel. I'll send you to Davy Jones' locker. We're, we're away from the water, so you can't really waterboard me, okay? Threatening to drown me, I'm very sure, is assault. Should I call the cops next time we duel? Oh, he's setting up now. We're Umi. Alright, so my flame service is likely going to be at a severe disadvantage. I don't think it. I can't really draw anything good. Yeah, it decreases the attack and defense of all machine and pyro type monsters. And this is pyro. Alright, set up my giant germ strategy. Release the fiend kraken. Release the other fiend kraken. Oh, I should have put my mirror force down. God damn it. I didn't think you would attack with both monsters. There was a flaw in my original play. So I only get to have one monster in the field, not two. Oh, well, at least I get to do an another 500 to him. Well, even though this card will suck a little bit more, it's still better than having a giant German play. So I'm going to have to get rid of one of those fiend krakens. I'm going to start cracking some skulls. Doesn't look like he has anything that can neutralize traps right away. So it depends on what I want to do here. Graceful Charity. Draw three cards, discard two. Activate Steel Shell. And, and... What? Okay! You know, you, you could have just tributed and then apply Steel Shell. Respect play. Yeah, it goes to a water monster. Okay, as long as Umi is face up on the field, this card is unaffected by any spell cards. Monsters on side of the field cannot select this card as an attack target. Well, that's stupid. During their respective turns, each player must show their opponent their hand. It'll still be affected by traps, though. So what I could do... Yeah, it's not affected by even Umi.
Oh, I can attack directly. I forgot I could still do that. All right, let's see if this legendary fisherman will bite. Well, at least I get to see his hand, too. Ah, I knew you'd fall for it. Sometimes you become the fisherman, and other times you become the bait. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with that same Genji play now. Okay, if I use Stimpak, no, that's not gonna be enough. Alright, we got things under control, as we always do. So far, the deck I have is really helping. Like, I've been able to build from the ground up for the deck I started with. Looks like it has another Umi. Oh, we know what that is. That is a sad Gen. That is a sad Gen. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't really do any more damage. So he's gonna get that monster out. Whatever it may be, probably another Fiend Kraken. Nope, man drew the 10,000 hands! Well, I don't think he has enough components for a ritual. But it looks like he's gonna try. Fortress Whale's Oath. Well, he also needs the monster in his hand, too. Which he doesn't have. And look, I, I win anyway, look. There, and I still got Mechanical Chaser to work with. Everything's coming together, Millhouse. We're coming up, Millhouse. It's just coming together. Or it could be coming up, Millhouse. Whatever you prefer to say. Oh my god, look at his face! Slicky's trying to pass a kidney stone. Look at him. Uh, oh god, I, I can't pee it out. <laughs> Ah! I lost! Yes. You lost. Alright, so I think that was a pretty productive video, so to speak. In fact, let's take a look at what we got registered. <coughs> Still a blank here. And one here. One here. Wow, Mako, Espa, and Rex have terrible disposition towards me. I mean, even Bones has, like, more of a disposition that's positive to me. And these guys, not so much. Uh, Rex is level 1, the others are level 2. Solomon was level 2? Really? Bakura's level 2, yeah, I can see that. Mokuba's level 2? No! That is a lie! There is no way that Mokuba is a level 2. Okay, you know what? He does have, like, a combo deck. I'll, I'll give him that. But I feel like that's grossly overestimating his ability. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, let's stop here, and in the next parts, we'll be having more duels. Looks like it's almost nighttime as well. See you everyone, thanks for watching.